happiness most common in comfortable confine. Nice. I'm jealous of that one. As my husband used to say, come, come back, back again, again. Sunshine, sunshine or rain. I just want to make some Hallmark cards with her wonderful little sayings on them. Technically, they're Boris's sayings, but, you know, whatever. Can I take this? The staff feels warm and almost alive in your hand. You hear an eerie voice in your head. Oh, right. This I must first do. The sacrifice of life for one of love. You find yourself letting go of the staff very quickly. I haven't checked in with, with Rizalka in a long time either, but I don't know what I can do for her at this point. There is a way to lift her curse, but maybe later. We really are a true hero when it comes to Mordavia. Okay, so it's like the middle of the day, so I guess it's worth visiting the gypsies. And I just don't understand why my stamina is so bad. It's, I've literally been out of town. I've only been awake for like a few hours and all of a sudden I'm already at half stam. Can I say half stam? Does that make sense? Half stam. Yeah, yeah. Kaboom, kaboom. Thunder, blood from the tombstone. We know. Gypsies ahoy. Why do you have to be so elusive? You're as elusive as Robert Denby. I'm beginning to dislike Mordavia. There we go. This is it. There's Davy. How you doing there, buddy? I like your little... I'll just wait here while you... Greetings and welcome to our camp. You... It's called Astina Camp. When you saved me from death, our lives became intertwined. Henceforth, you are to be known as a gypsy friend. <laughs> Come now. I will take you to the leader of our camp. It's just such a weird design decision with this guy. Everybody else seems fairly normal, and this guy has this huge ass chin and a mouth that could swallow a horse. He's like Tony Robbins. I'm very slowly coming to meet the leader of your camp. All right, buckle yourselves in. So, you are the one my son spoke of. You saved his life. You also entered fearlessly into our den of wolves. You are a man of great courage. I'm just pretty stupid. We gypsies owe you for our Davy, and I believe we will owe you for things to come. Welcome. I am the fortune teller. I'm sure you have a name. I will teach you a spell. It oh. will protect you against... Yay! Oh, good. This is what I need to beat the rays and probably what I should have been using the entire time. But hey, I'm a badass. Gypsy fortune teller touches your head briefly. Magic flows through you. Now you know the aura. Yay! Now, let us learn more of you. Why have you come here? And what do you All right, seek? exposition dump for everything. Let's... Oh. I think I was healed. Well, let's uh, tell about Baba's pie, scary dream. Greet all right, let's first of all, let's start being nice. <gasps> oh my, for an outsider, you are most polite. I think that's Olga's voice slash Baba Yaga's voice. I think these are all the same people. You tell the gypsies your name. Snaky Fate the Magnificent. We are honored to know your name. It is a good name. A strong name. <laughs> you bear it well. You are just so enthused about everything. All right, well, let's start at the beginning. Uh, well, you see, let me tell you a long story. How you got Through the mouth, cloacas. The dark cave? Sphincters. You escaped from there? Ah, oh, you are very powerful and lucky. I would guess that a summoning spell went wrong. That cave interferes with all magic around here. Interesting. But it is best not to speak of that cave. Someone brought you here for some unknown purpose. Hmm, most interesting. <laughs> all right, let's think back to quest the end of the last game, where two shadowy people were looking into a crystal ball, and that when they're looking at me, so those are the people that were summoning me, evil bad people. So the cave intercepted me, and stuck me in there. So, that, in actuality, that cave probably saved my life. 
Wow, all right. Interesting, interestingly good to know. So let's talk about these dreams I've been having. You tell her about the frightening dream. Well, dreams. Dreams are messages. Such a message may be obscure or meaningful, depending upon the sender and the dreamer. A sender? It's a, oh, it is a message, I see. A dream may be clearer when you have had more of them. I've already had like 10 nightmares. She's just basically telling me just to keep on sleeping. I, for some reason, I could talk to her about pie, so maybe she's a pie aficionado. Oh, Yaga. And your search for elderberry pie. And we care why? Oh, the ogress is hungry, eh? That doesn't particularly surprise me. There is an area to the southwest, on this side of the swamplands, which we avoid when hunting. There is a creature which looks like a plant, which I have seen grab a deer and drain it almost instantly of blood. Perhaps that is the plant you are seeking. It is the plant that is literally right outside of her hut. Those are the elderberries, those blood red berries. So weird, it grabs things with the tentacles, it sucks the blood out and that's why its berries are red. That's awful. All right, well, let's find out more about these people. Oh, you want to talk to me? You can call me Davy. Names are very important. Davy is my name to outsiders. I also have a gypsy name and a true name. True names are not given lightly. Ah, guess it gives me power. I can ask him for his true name, but he's probably just going to be insulted. But let's find out. True name! Gypsies never ask others for their names. Never say your true name. Never speak the true name of another. To say another's true name aloud gives you power over huh. him. If you are indeed more powerful. Otherwise, it gives him power over you. Weird. That's a really wacky kind of superstition. But let's find out about this whole werewolf thing. Werewolves! We gypsies are not werewolves. We are shapeshift. Oh, sorry. Let's get all PC. Form of wolves for hunting. All right. Well, whatever. Yeah, you got captured and whatever. So let's find out. Oh, you want to talk to me now? <laughs> Love it. I guess we can ask her her name. She's probably not going to tell us. You may call me Magda. What? Ah, uh, tis the name I go by with you, gorgeous. Who? Wait, wait, wait. Gorgi. Who was that? The word we call anyone who is not a gypsy. That was not the voice I... So you guys are shapeshifters and voice shifters? And what's Gorgio? I guess that's a word for like an outsider, but that was really weird. All right, well, let's start at the beginning. Fortune teller. I have been gifted by true sight and foreknowledge. These are gifts with knife edges. Oh, I have seen my own death and knew my true love's death the day I met him. Still, it is most useful. I guess. I will read your fortune in the cards, if you wish. You have only to cross my palm with silver. So much for the legends about werewolves, huh? Or at least, <laughs> a coin of value. But I warn you, mm. no future is fixed. What the cards show of the future can happen. But only if you take the actions to create this future. And it is not easy to determine what those actions are, dear. Such is life. Mm, that's kind of a cop-out. It's like, what I'm going to show you may or may not happen, but you're going to pay me anyway. Uh, I don't think there's any much really that she can tell me. I can ask her a couple of questions about the valley. Maybe she can help me get my bearings, and then we'll do a couple fortune telling, because I think they're important. But probably not. Wally! This valley has always been a nexus of power. Magic is very strong here. My people for generations come here to renew and strengthen their ties to the mystical ways. My dear, we are not the only ones drawn by this power. The magician Irana oh. created a magical refuge here. Others, more dark, were drawn here oh, as well. Oh, Irana. Can I ask her about Irana? Oh, be wary and watchful at all times here. The magic of this land has become twisted, and there are many dangers around you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right, this opened up a lot of avenues. This is what I get for taking shortcuts. Irana! Irana was a powerful magician who came from this area. 
There is a garden in the forest which she created. Oh, it is such a place of safety for all who visit there. It is said that her final resting place is near here as well. Her staff stands in the town and protects those within the walls from outside harm. So every single town I've been to, I think I mentioned, has been pretty much hit up by Irana. Spielberg had a calm spell protecting it beside that little part in the alleyway. And Tarna had... Uh, actually, no, I don't think Tarna did. But it did have that peace uh, pool, which Irana blessed. Quest for Glory 2... Uh, where was it? Uh, I think there was like, where did she touch in, uh, oh, I can't remember. Uh, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Meh, oh, dark ones. There are some things about which even I dare not speak. Even thinking about such creatures attracts them. Let us hope that you never need know of such matters. Well, I really kind of want to know. Magic! There are many places and things. Yeah, so yes, magic does exist. Thank you. Gypsies! We are the roving people, the tinkers and traders and tellers of fortunes. We are the dancers in the night and the music in the wilderness. We are the untamed ones who live only by our own rules. We own no land and no land owns us. The world is ours for the travel. Oh, to have the life of a gypsy. I would love it. All right, enough already. Let's go ahead and get some fortune telling going. And I think we can do it more than once, and it's not like we're short of money. Yeah, 155 crowns. It's like all the weight I'm carrying comes from all my money. Now, you listen to the words of an old gypsy fortune teller. Don't have a choice. You will initiate this reading of the cards. The shuffling and cutting attunes the cards to those vibrations which surround you. You do not control the cards, nor do I. It is the cards which show what they choose to show. Time for some tarot. I will reveal to you the meanings of the cards. It is up to you to interpret how they affect you. Now, we can do this a number of times, and it will sort of talk about people surrounding you, yourself and a couple people around you, which does help quite a bit. And I think this is required, or I know you get points for it, so let's start out. Page of Swords. Yeah, let's take... Alright, the boom. The first card is the Significator. It is the symbol of the subject of the reading. I'm guessing that's me? This is a card of vigilance and agility. Yeah, that's me, alright. The person this represents is skilled at perceiving the hidden, at spying, and uncovering the unknown. This is a person who has mastery over his body and is lithe and active. Don't forget handsome. This card clearly represents <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. This reading is about you. And don't forget the fact that I can turn into a gigantic buzzsaw on, on a whim. Represent the influences which affect your current situation. All right. It's probably going to be all death and, death and awful. All right. Influence. An upside down priestess. I wonder what that means. This card is the High Priestess. It is inverted, which means the meanings too are turned upside down. Hmm. The High Priestess is some woman of your past. She is a person of selfishness and passion. Someone who seems to be very powerful, but her knowledge is limited by her own conceit. A woman from my past. Turn over the next card to reveal more of this individual. There haven't been any women in my past who I can classify as selfish and... and... well, whatever. Let's see. I can't read that. Six of s coins or something? Is that what that says? The Four of Coins. Four of Coins. Now that is the card of the miser. This woman of your past has power, but uses it selfishly. This is a person who cares only of her own needs and wants, and does not care what she does or how she influences others. I still don't know who this could be about. Person is one who, as long as you satisfy her needs and vanity, will be willing to aid you, providing it does not require any amount of effort on her part. Hmm. However, if you act against her, her vengeance will be swift and violent. 
This is not a person to disregard, and she plays an important part in the events around you. Reveal the next card, something of the more recent past, which has consequences in the present. I have a feeling that means Katrina, because we know that she's sort of an outside agent who is affecting me, and she does love flattery. King of Coins, inverted. So a pauper of not coins? This is the inverted king of coins. This is an old and vicious man. Someone who is willing to use any means to attain his desires. Someone who is dangerous and cannot be trusted or underestimated. This must be about that shadowy man that uh, gets his gets tongue stuck out of him all the time. Of this person. Alright, I'm curious about this person because it's a bit of an enigma. The devil. Oh, boy. The devil. The devil. This is indeed an ill omen. This person is influenced by black magic. A man of power and dark desires. Yet, the devil is a sign of bondage and subservience. And this person has faced unexpected failure of some sort. This is someone of great evil. Someone who cannot be trusted. This is one who will bear you ill will, yet is somehow prevented from harming you or gaining his revenge. For now... These are really specific readings. ...gain his freedom. This man will seek to destroy all which stands between his goals and himself. Turn over the next card to reveal a surrounding influence. Let's do it. We're on a roll. So that's Katrina, and that's that shadowy man that uh, uh, Tanya was talking about who gets you know, sticks his tongue out all the time. Queen of Cups. Let's see who this might be. Irana, maybe? I just love Irana. Ah, the Queen of Cups. Yes, yeah, how to be. Again, there is a female influencing your present. This is a woman of wisdom and love. She is kind, generous, and virtuous. Let us see what next the cards reveal. The slurb... slug? Oh. The star. It is a symbol of hope and spiritual influence. Now this is a woman in touch with her magical nature. She is gentle and loving, yet... There is but how does Irana fit in with my story? This is a woman who generates hope and help through her actions. Like me! The next card reveals the overriding influence upon the future. Interesting. Alright, this is where things get interesting, I bet. Here we go. Queen of Swords. Don't know who that could be. Ah, oh, the Queen of Swords. She is a woman of wit and skill, yet... She has suffered through terrible hardship, and she is marked by her suffering. This isn't about you. Oh, she faces her sorrows bravely, but with a deep, deep loneliness. Blah. The next card will tell us more about her. Oh, maybe that's Katrina? Or maybe they're two of the same. She's awful and ruthless, but just in inside, she's just a lonely, lost little girl. I, you got me on that one. The wool? The world? The moon. Of course. It is the card of deception. This woman is a deceiver, or is deceived by her own beliefs. This card also reveals the magical nature of the woman. This is the strength which sustains her. Oh, she is either surrounded by false friends, or seeks to betray you herself. She is the victim or the villainous. The final card will reveal the influence which will most affect you. And if memory serves, this card is always the same. The Void. The Void. Mm. About this card, I will not speak. I must meditate upon its meaning. And I don't think she ever draws this any conclusions. This tableau shows the influences surrounding you. These people will affect your life for weal or for woe. Yeah, let's do this for wheel. It is up to you to determine how and what effect they will have upon you. That is all that the cards and I can reveal at this time. All right. <laughs>
Make what you will of your fortune. I will speak no more of it. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Hey, if you want to see some more, please hit this little subscribe button up here somewhere in this nebulous area by my head. And if you want to see more Quest for Glory stuff, click plushy sneaky feet. And if you'd like to watch some other stuff, please click on little Cedric plushy. Choices, choices, choices.